Well, hey folks, welcome back. Today we're doing level 5 of Trespasser, the lab. If we turn around here, we can see the big old Jurassic Park gate that Eight ended shot. the last level, and there's a supply box around here 10. with a couple of weapons ready for the taking. Now if you'll look at the trees on the right and left, you'll see we're getting away from the tropical environment as we gain altitude. Now the jungle type plants like to live down near sea level. But as you get higher, you start to find the pines and sequoias that make up most high altitude forests around the world. And now if you'll look down the road, you'll see we've got another goddamn T-Rex we can't do a damn thing about other than hope he doesn't see us as we walk by. Now he's fighting it out with a Triceratops down there, but I don't expect that fight's going to last real long. That T-Rex just did damage to the trike with his tail. Now we're going to swing right off the road a little bit and see if we can avoid that mess. Christ, looks like he's on to us. Now we're going to play Indiana Ann and make a break for the bus down at the end of the road. Let's go. Ah, good, he's distracted. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. I can't help but notice that both of those guys seem to be moving in this direction. How the hell is that Triceratops still alive? Well, whatever. We gotta come over here and get through that gate. Here we have another bus from the lovely Island Express fleet that we saw back in the town. And the card reader is broken, so we've gotta find a different way to open this gate. Now on the back of the sign there we see a code, 1018. But we need to realize it was probably put there for a forgetful bus driver who could look in her side mirror and see the code. Therefore we need to type it in backwards. Did that T-Rex follow me all the way over here? Christ Jesus, he's right on the other side of the bus. And as long as he's shaking the damn world around, I can't type in this code. Success, the gate's open. Oh my goodness. Well, I might be able to make it. Let's run for it! Well, looks like he's hung up on something. Probably don't have to worry about him anymore. Well, welcome to the InGen Harbor and Docks. If we walk over and look at this road going up the hill here, we can see it's got a green keycard lock. So, our next objective is to find this green keycard so we can head up that hill and get to our next objective. The main harbor for Site B. Seems like a nice place. There's another Island Express bus. Here on the ground, we've got another trusty Bell shotgun, or Franchi Spas 12 as it's correctly called, as one of you so helpfully pointed out. Now they're illegal around here, but all you non-California goons can pick one up for about a thousand buckaroos and go play Dinosaur Hunter in the Catskills or wherever the hell y'all live. The smells of salt water and gasoline. Now there's a couple of Tribe B Raptors spooking around here somewhere and they can surprise you if you're not careful. Now what is this? That Raptor's already dead. Is it possible we're not alone on this island? No, it's not. This Raptor probably killed itself like the dumb shit that it is. Makes no never mind to me. Saved me a bullet. Now most of you who have ever attended classes in a tractor trailer classroom have probably considered doing something like this at one point or another. Lucky for us, this one weighs about 10 pounds and flips over real nice. We'll drop our deagle and open up the supply shed real quick here. And inside we find a perfectly good Mac 10. We'll save it for later. Now we'll continue on our search. We have got to find that green key card. So we've got an Omegon shipping container here, and an Atlantic shipping container. You can see this whole area has been cleared out pretty nicely. The docks here were probably the busiest area in the entire facility. They never expected this. Hammond thought this would be here forever. Now we're going to climb the stairs up into the crane here and find ourselves another new weapon. 
hasn't been Ladies used. and gentlemen, meet the Calico MP50. It's a high capacity machine gun pistol with good accuracy, good rate of fire, but pretty terrible damage. It's got low recoil, but you still want to try to preserve your ammo by firing in short bursts. The docks were the lifeblood of Site B. Amber, synthetic eggshell, and livestock came from all over the Pacific Rim. It's not too good, but luckily there aren't very many of these in the game. Now we can see a couple of buildings and warehouses up ahead. Now those seem like as good a place as any to find a key card, so let's head on over there. Up ahead, over the rise, you can see another Tribe B Velociraptor. They're pretty much all Tribe B Raptors from here on out. The last Tribe A was at the beginning of the town. Uh, we won't be seeing any more of them. Well, let's just head on over there and try out our new Calico pistol. Well, that was decent, I suppose. Now let's go over here and shoot these slats out of the window so we can get into the building. We'll just hop in here, open the door, and hey, a yellow key card. Over there behind that big pile of boxes is a silenced MP5, but we don't need it right now, so we'll just leave it alone. Now we're going to head on over here to this boarded up administration building looking thing and try out our shiny new key card. Aha, InGen Central Command. There's probably some pretty interesting stuff sitting around here. Now we can stick our heads in a couple of these offices, but they're all pretty much empty. Two German technicians were accused of conspiring to walk out with crucial research materials. They planned to breach the main computer vault and remove some of the data stored there. No proof was ever found. Cards in the Atlantic, good luck. Amateurs. Now wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. We're about 200 miles west of Costa Rica. That's in the Pacific Ocean, not the Atlantic. Now you can see, except for the room with the whiteboard, the rest of these offices are all pretty much empty. Now I'll head downstairs and make a quick sweep of the building before we leave. Whoops, looks like this is locked. Now that sounded like a T-Rex. Did that guy finally get through the gate? Looks like seven. Well, that definitely sounds like a T-Rex. Let's hope we don't bump into that guy coming around a corner. Ah, there he is over there, chomping on a Stegosaurus. And it's a new one, too. It's like a scene from the end of the world. Now, here's a big old warehouse with boxes and boxes of stuff in Eight here. Left. You can see a bunch of shotguns on this little pedestal here in the middle of the room. That's rarely a good sign. Now, if you're up for half an hour of shoving boxes around, you can get the green key card by climbing up on one of these big piles of boxes. It's one of two in the level. Now, we're going to run down to the end of the dock here for a minute and get something useful off of that derelict. You'll recognize the ship as being of the same class as the one that dropped off our protagonists and their equipment in the beginning of the Lost World. The Emily was a tug for bringing in the bigger freighters. Occasionally we took it out to observe specimens from offshore and to sweep the tide for traces of our operation. Ow. 
Hello, lag spike. It was scuttled in 1989 as a quarantine measure soon after I gave the government my testimony. Here we go, a drum AK-47. Seven shots. You're fired. And now we need Feels this full. just to get back off the ship. You're fired too. Alright, now I'm gonna walk all the way back to the Atlantic shipping container so we can go get that key card. Cutting now. Feels full. Alright, looks like another Raptor showed up since we were last here. Okay, and now it's time for another trespasser platforming puzzle, but luckily this one's not too difficult, so let's hop up on these boxes and get cracking. So we hop up on top of the trailer here and onto the roof. From the roof to the bus stop and then to the bus. Onto the Omicron shipping container, and finally into the Atlantic shipping container. And here it is at the bottom of the crate, the green key card. And you know what that means, folks. We are getting out of here. Now we'll head on back to the mountain road there. Looks like we didn't need that Mac 10 after all. Now as we go up this road here, you'll see we're finally starting to get some altitude. After a little while, we'll begin our ascent up the mountain, and that'll signal the beginning of the end of the game. This is a little bit of a long road here, folks, so uh, I hope you'll just sit back and enjoy the ride. There's a pretty angry Triceratops up in the road ahead, so we're going to get off and walk through the woods a little bit here to avoid him. What a nice forest. It is downright pretty out here.
Doesn't look like anybody's interested in me. We're just gonna keep on going then. The main laboratory and administrative buildings. This was where we made our discovery, where the real magic trick happened. When they come to dig up our secrets, they'll come here. Site B was fully centralized and computer controlled. The same design that became the Achilles heel of Jurassic Park. Now we're going to jump into the NGen primary lab building. This is the place where they made the whole dinosaur thing happen, so it's kind of a big deal. It was strange to move from the field, the hot sun, dirt on one's trouser cuffs, into the cool, sterile darkness of the lab. The place looks mostly intact. Diagnostics, communications, security, all ran through the computer. Accordingly, computer security was paramount, the tightest on the island. So this was all there was? Looks like a freshman science lab. The centrifuge word night and day. The slow alchemy of genetic replication. Now under normal circumstances there would be a purple key card right here that would let me move in and out of these two buildings with no problem. For some reason, it's not here. There's even supposed to be a backup one sitting outside in the park and it's not there either. I think maybe my version's bugged out, but luckily we can get in and out of the buildings without the card. Aha, there's a way back outside. Now would you look at that? These are the Velociraptor hatcheries. Feels full. Now we're into the actual employee offices. Some of these are pretty nice, or probably were before they all got abandoned. Haven't been used. The raptor preened itself utterly confident of its right to be there. Absolutely no consciousness that it was not the sovereign ruler of this earth. Velociraptors kind of sound like they have cat personalities now. Come on, Hammond. It's your office. Gotta be something here. Well, yeah, he's got a Ruger Redhawk, but more importantly, he's got a code written on this notepad here. Now we'll just come on in here, get the red key card off of John's John, and that'll let us into the third building. God damn it. Okay. Oh shit, where'd it go? Whoo, that was a close one, kids. Now I'll throw it away for safekeeping. of an empire. 
Okay, now you see, under normal circumstances, About I would have 20. the purple key card right now and I'd be able to open this 17. door. Because I don't, I'm going to have to go back upstairs and jump out one of the windows. Let me just double check, there's not an exit over here. And nope, that one needs a key card too. What a bunch of crap. This guy's got a pretty good window. Let's use this one. Well, butts up. Oh, that's real great. Now my shins are sticking out of my knees. Christ, Jesus. This is kind of a fancy little park they've got out here. And now for the third and last building, the Cray Computer Center. feeling at times as if the whole of the earth had fallen away outside, leaving only the darkness, the work, the endless questioning into the past. It's looking like Jurassic Park actually had a pretty small genetics staff, but maybe you don't need a lot of people for that kind of thing. It's cold in here. Well, at least Anne's got her priorities straight. I still believe Nedry left himself a back door, something about the hobbits or God knows what. There it is, folks. The one melee weapon left in Trespasser that's any use at all. Nedry's mace. My understanding about is that the problem with all the other melee weapons was they did exactly the same thing that the shock prod did. As long as you had them stowed on your body, they would do damage if you moved. The solution to that, of course, was to remove the damage from all of them, so... They don't hurt you, but they make pretty useless weapons. The one that they didn't do that to was this one here, the mace. It's too bad they give it to us so late in the level, but it is an absolutely beautiful weapon. I'd play the whole game with this thing if I had it. And right here is where we use Hammond's code. Here we go, folks. The Cray Control Room. If you ever get a chance to see a Cray in person, you'll realize that they are some of the most impressive looking computers you have ever seen. Now we've got a color-coded boot-up sequence and a bunch of colored buttons all around the room. There's a quote that plays with each button, so I'm just going to be quiet for the rest of this whole sequence. It was in the last days of genetic recovery, and at this point, nothing was certain. Was the DNA there? Could we bring it back, up the well? It was 3 a.m. The room was strewn with soda cans and for the hundredth time, we ran the extraction sequence. Dennis, what are we looking at here? All my life I'd waited for something great. Something extraordinary. As Ned retyped, the world seemed to hold its breath. And for a moment we stood at the turning point between two great planetary eras. The million year reign of man and the age of the dinosaurs. And then it opened up. The cold red truth. Barrier of time for, for an instant, open. Nature and I 
I stared into the monitor. Straight back through 65,000 centuries. You heard the lady. Our next stop is the mountaintop facility. I just love that cray sequence in there. Brings a tear to my eye every time. Here's another Barrett 50 cal for absolutely no reason. Ah, time to go medieval on somebody's ass. Have at you! Oh, come on, trespasser developers, enough with the platforming puzzles already. Well, there you go, folks. We're out of the paddock and we're out of the level. Tune in next time for Level 6, The Ascent, Part 1. This is Research Indicates for the Something Awful Forums. I'll see you around.